What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the History of Hyenas. I'm Chris Stefano, a.k.a. Chrissy Cauliflower Tits. With me, as always, Giannis Pappas, a.k.a. Special Needs Stamos. And now we have the creator of the wildly popular documentary on Netflix called The Game Changers, which changed my life. You guys have heard me talk about it a lot. It's Mr. James Wilkes, a.k.a. James Wilkes Booth. <laughs> <laughs> it was John, right? I think. See, yeah, oh, I was just telling you, I don't know much about history, but I do remember it was John, and I think he spelt Wilkes with an E. My -E absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Well, because he's gay, you're not. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, well, or maybe no you idea. are. If you listen, listen, now here's the difference between the two of them. That guy yeah. had to use a gun to kill Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, this guy can kill you with his piece, with his piece, with his fingers. Be he's a stone cold. Because killer. make no mistake, he's a stone cold, 100 percent plant based. Because I'm a plant-based pussy, a PBP. Yeah. But you're a pan, you're a PBC, a plant-based coyote. Yeah. If you Listen. said, if I said someone to hurt you bad, it's this kid. You would never know. I'd be like, and he's also 100% plant-based. You know how I knew that? You know how I knew that he was plant-based? Because yeah. he's got cauliflower ear. <laughs> <laughs> only, only one. Only on one. Because the kid's yeah. a fighter. And cause make no mistake, I'm gonna take a little nibble out of your ear. Because I'm 100%. No, well, I'm 90% plant-based after watching your documentary. And babe, let me tell you. I came in. How how hard did I come in here swinging about this documentary? How much I fucking loved yeah, it. Yeah, he reminded me about three times. He's like, make sure you watch the documentary. Seriously, before That's James awesome. comes in. Yeah, I loved it. It was absolutely unbelievable. I learned a lot. You keep these documentaries keep coming up. It's uh, you can't ignore the fact that like eating less meat is a good thing to start with, right? right? Totally. I mean, I, I, to me, it's like the this this. Twofold, you get like you're eating less meat, which means you're also eating more plants, right? So there's actually a double benefit because we know that meat's not great for you, and we know that plants are good. So double benefit by switching out those calories. Yeah, I I feel like when I was um, first of all, it was it was like yet yeah, it's interesting how like when you just date, you know, I have my my kids' moms beautiful Puerto Rican woman, and it's interesting how you just you know it's just the fights are never over because i was like hey i think you should watch this documentary the game changes because she's a vegan i was like i think you'll like it she's like i told you about that documentary last week you don't fucking listen to me this is why you're stupid and i was just <laughs> like i'm sorry just give me a zucchini <laughs> yeah well the worst with your wife is when you you tell her something yeah and you don't know that she told you yeah. a week ago yeah well you know the thing I mean? is with me i don't have a wife i have baby's mama <laughs> but you have a wife well, either way i'm just you're saying like if you tell her, and she's like, I just told you that, and you totally didn't realize that she's been trying to get you to do something or watch something. Yeah. yeah. No. But and vegans vegans also come, They a lot of times they come at you like that. If I if I call you a vegan, is that like a slur? Because yeah. I, I don't want to be like, hey, you fucking vegan, because I'm just telling <laughs> yeah, you to support yeah. it. Yeah. But are you a vegan, or are you, are you, a, or are you just a PBC, a plant-based cutie? Yeah. I'm and what's the <laughs> diff? <laughs> well, I would say, like, you know, vegan is going outside of diet for a first of all. You yeah. know, like, you know, leather and, uh, like, maybe you don't support, like, buying pets or something like right. that. You want to rescue them instead. Sure. Um, but I, I, so I don't really like the term vegan that much. And also, plant based is a bit more all inclusive. Right. You're not saying it's, it's all or uh, something rather than all or nothing. And so I think I'd invite more with, like, being fueled by plants. You see, because I, okay, I, I, think, I think the great part about his documentary that I love was the marketing part when he talked about how the meat industry has marketed meat in a certain way, like very manly, and then there's that those quick cuts of all the commercials going like, eat like a man, eat man. Eat, you want to eat like a man, take mm -hmm. this meat sandwich. It's meat with a side of meat. Put this dick in your mouth. You're a man. Yeah. You know, it's uh, a, and I think vegans could benefit um, from like a little, a little bit more marketing, a little bit better, because I like the way your, your documentary was going like, hey, look at this athlete. He's a man. Look at this man. Look at James. He's a man. James is a fuck. Are you kidding me? James is the definition he's a man. of man. He's fucking, he's, he's put, he's got probably such like 32 ways, fucking tight, tight bod, cauliflower ear, cute, nice complexion. Cause <laughs> let me make, make no mistake. And you fucking are a fighter. You will get kissed on the lips. <laughs> Here's the deal. He will run through this crew in here. I'll run through him. Yeah, here's the deal. He'll you get cracked run... open and cleaned out. He will kill. He. Will... You ever see that movie with? That's Den... the thing. You see that movie with Denzel Washington? What's it called? The uh, Equalizer. The Equalizer. He'll kill everybody. He will kill us one by one. The only difference will be is when he's going to kill me. I'll kill be covered and come. 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty gentle. Really. No, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm telling you, you're making me horny. Or stop saying you're gentle. <laughs> the truth is, since I've been plant based, I I'm telling you, since I've been just fueled by mostly plants and vegetables, I have the courage to walk right out of the closet. Yeah, we see. We don't know if he, the thing about Chris. I'll just give you a little backstory. Mike's he, falling asleep because he just wants to eat meat. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. James is looking around confused. Somebody hit my I'll mic explain, with a tomato. I'll give you a little backstory on Chris. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. um yeah. he uh he says that he is um he is romantically into men. Yeah. No, 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 no. Romantically into physically, I physically fall into in love women. with men. I have sex with women. Yeah. So if that's gay, then put your meat in my mouth. <laughs> so that's what he. That's that's not you, just in general. So yeah. wait, what is it again? You. I'm I I I'm I'm uh, I'm romantically. Attracted to men. No, sorry. Wow, it's Freudian slips. No, 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 because no. you said that. Right. I said I'm physically attracted to women. Mm. R- romantic. Basically, if I have a deep, like Giannis is my podcast partner, there's been many, many times where we've had a deep, beautiful conversation hmm. about history or about something awesome, and then I've just went and had sex with a woman. And the woman's been like, that was the greatest sex ever. I'm like, thanks, Giannis. So he said wow. he gets the conversation okay. gets him going, and then he goes, right. Away. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. I think he's just game changers, and I was horny watching game changers. It because, moved your monkey. Well, it moved my monkey because the the thing is with game changers is it's so deep, and there's so many powerful people. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, that I love. My favorite guy was the um the weightlifter, the the squeak guy, the the in, guy from India. You know what I'm talking about? He's not from India. Not from India. He's got he's got an Indian last name. His, his name. Oh, Patrick Baboumian. Yeah. yeah. The Whatever. Armenian who lives in Germany. Yeah, yes, that guy. I fucking Whenever love you that see guy. I A N. It's Armenian. And Armenian, and that guy had that. Guy I had nice '80s hair and I liked it. He mm. had the mutton chops. Too. The yeah, mutton chops, that's, that's yeah. A cool look, and that yeah. guy was the strongest fucking guy I've ever seen in my life. He, he had the world record for lifting the most. He broke the world record eating plants while James was on stage emceeing it. That's right. The other thing for I the like documentary. about so so it's the reason why I started watching is because I went to the doctor and my cholesterol was TTR through the roof. It was like total cholesterol of like 260. And then I went plant based for because of the great Tang Sinatra. Um, I went. Plant based because he told me about the documentary. I watched it, and then I went from two sixty to one ninety in like four or five weeks. Wow! Which the doctor, my doctor, told me he was like, "I've never seen it that quick without medicine." He says, "As a matter of fact, he said I want to test you again, and I have to go back a week later and get tested again." And it was like one eighty eight. Yeah, it's super common. Crazy, but then you know you. But then it's like so. I say that right. This is what fucking people are. I say that on the podcast, whatever. People start hitting me up. You, why are you so concerned about cholesterol, bro? Cholesterol is not real. It's what? What's your glucose? What's your glucose? And it's like glucose is extremely important too. Yes. And that also went down. My A one C was like five point two, which is great. That's what I think you should do a commercial. Be like, hey, if there's anyone out there who makes a joke and says uh, if you're a vegan uh, or you eat mostly plant based diet, you're a pussy. You'd be like, uh, you can fight me. <laughs> one by one, absolutely, and we'll find out. Yeah, we'll it's, find- it's strange, right? Because historically, there's this sort of uh, connotation that if you eat plant based or you're vegan or vegetarian, no you're soft. And I think you know, probably like 60s, 70s, there was a lot of sort of you know long haired hippies tree hugging. Sure. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's probably you know there's a lot more people eating vegan, vegetarian. But things are changing now. People are getting like benefits, both health wise, but also performance. You know, athletic performance, sexual performance. And yeah. So uh, you, there was that whole part of the documentary when the kids got they 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 had Woody's longer at night. They had yeah they yeah popping wood. I feel like sometimes I don't. Do you feel like your your morning woods have been better since you've been on plants? I haven't been on plants yet. Oh, you didn't do it. It's okay. in the back of my mind always. I'm like, I'm just one of those casual people who's trying to eat less meat. That's what right. I'm starting. And then when I watch a documentary like yours. Um, it just it makes me go like okay I can I got to do more I got to I got to get better at this because yeah. I I I'll, enjoy I'll, plants and I just want to stop eating burgers I want to stop eating like just steaks I want to stop eating chicken so much you also I have a wife who's going to call you a pussy if you stop eating meat well the way to frame it I think uh, mentally is to think of what you are going to include so I want to include more plant based burgers more plant based pizzas right you know rather than thinking of it as exclusion. Uh, I think of it more of like, what can I eat? And that's going to push that other stuff out. Inclusion. I like that. Diversity. I like that. Yeah. I that's like what that. everybody loves. Our, imper- our impossible burgers and like um, the... The way you say impossible burgers, because I... Yeah, impossible burgers. I have a side... It really pisses me off the way you say burgers. Burgers. Just keep your fucking lips back when you say the ER in burgers. It's an impossible, it's an impossible burger. burger. You're from New York City. Stop pronouncing the R's. Burger. Burger. <laughs> or if you're from England, it's, if you're from England, it's a burger. I don't believe he's burger. even from England. Burger. I think he did puts on the accent for the documentary. It makes me sound <laughs> smarter. It makes it sound smarter. I think that you're from Baltimore. <laughs> well, actually, if I go back to England now, <laughs> people from England don't actually know where I'm from. Well, I'm going to fucking when tell it, you where it, you're from right now. I mean, they do now because it's in the film. But oh, it is? That, I was yeah. Glustonbury. 
Gloucestershire. Oh yeah. <laughs> you combine two. Yeah. Where are you from in England? Uh, well, it's a small town called Melton Mowbray, which is in Leicestershire, which is spelled L E I C E S. Yes. T E R. Like S H I R. Leicester yeah. Square. You break it's like Leicester. You yeah. break stereotypes for two reasons: one, your diet; two, that does not sound like the voice of someone who can kill you with their hands. He could mm. kill you with his hands, no problem. Of he, he sounds there, there's like there's another he's... myth, right? Is that all fighters yes. uh, are dumb? So it I, is I another. No, over, I think over fifty percent of people in the UFC have at least a bachelor's degree. I would I believe that. I, w- I, I never true. thought fighters were dumb. No, you a... have to be so smart to be able to be able to see so many moves ahead of you and be like a mm-hmm. tactician with it. Like Here's what chess. happens when you're on plants, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the truth. I apologize, James. <laughs> Uh, Manatee is okay with it. I told it because I fart a lot, right? I've been eating so many broccoli spears that you would think I'm shoving it in my ass, which I may be. But but the thing is, I I've been I've been so gassy to the point where I went to my GI doctor and I said I, I have stomach cancer, and then they took a look, um, and they said no, actually you look better than ever. So it's wild how much just from changing my diet, how many things like how good my body feels is what I'm trying to get at. That it actually I actually thought I had a problem. Yeah, yeah. Because well, of, so. Yeah. That, that uh, how long have you been doing it now? Now it's been like um, Jesus, like nine weeks. Oh, okay. Weeks. So yeah, it does take a time. So the yeah. the, the bacteria got the microbiome. Yeah. There's different types of bacteria, and so you're you're starting to lose the putrefying bacteria because meat is sort of putrefies in your mm-hmm. gut, and you're starting to get more of the fermentation bacteria. So during that transitional phase, if you're suddenly eating a lot more fiber than you were, ninety percent of Americans are deficient in fiber then you're going to start, uh, you can have gastrointestinal distress, a bit of bloating or gas. So that's why for most people, it's probably better not to jump in overnight because you go from right. like 10 or 15 grams of fiber a day to like 40 grams of fiber a day or something. <clears throat> and that can cause a problem. But over time, that should totally, um, totally pass. Do you, can you eat oatmeal with the, pl- is yeah, oatmeal yeah, totally, good? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because yeah. yeah. I, I just, I don't know, I wasn't sure. Yeah, but well, I, I make it with, uh, I make mine with soy milk. So if you're making it with cow's milk, then. That I would make be... it with almond milk. Is almond milk okay? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it, there's not much protein in almond milk. Soy's better. So I would go soy, get some protein Because in I remember, because you, the part of the documentary, we talked about how we always don't like soy milk. I always don't like, oh, I just have tits and fat Breast, nipples yeah. in the soy milk. But it's not, because you're saying that right. the, the soy is the so soy. There's, there's estrogen receptors and there's phytoestrogen plants, and right. then basically you're if you're eating uh, phytoestrogens, you actually block those receptors from absorbing. If you're still eating some animal products, you can actually help block some of the animal estrogens, which are identical to human estrogens, from from absorbing. So it's actually beneficial. Yeah. we we think we're two guys that are mostly more estrogen than normal guys. We've spoken about mm-hmm. that, especially Giannis. I feel like some days he's. His brain is estrogen. Some days it's more testosterone. Yeah, I'm a mixed bag, and so are you. You're a mixed bag. We're a couple yeah, he, mixed bags. He used to put on his mother's uh, fishnet stockings when mm-hmm. he was a kid. So, but that's got nothing to do it with plants. It was a formative I time. It. Yeah, it was a formative time. Um, uh, that was a James little- isn't a great laugher. So it's just <laughs> wow. no. I get it. I get it. No, no. I, mean, I, I, I he just judging. doesn't. I know, I but he's got. Judge. A- He's got so I, He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what's going on. I'm Tank should have sure told what him. A, what is a joke versus what is? Yeah, that. I, I know. I, I, no, I, judge I, that, no, the so. gay yeah. stuff was a joke. <laughs> oh, it was. Yeah, oh, yeah no, my I dad's still alive. I mean, uh, we think, we think, we don't know. I mean, with him, we don't know. He, I think, I think he's just an in the closet gay guy waiting for his dad to die. No, it's just what to it is. come and out. My dad's oh, gonna die. Him. That's why I'm not showing him the game changers. No, Get so, out of here. Like I wasn't judging that or the stockings. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whatever yeah. you're into is fine with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're pretty... Look at how Mike's gonna fall asleep <laughs> anytime somebody comes here and starts talking about healthy and plants. He's like boring anime. Mike, you could really benefit from this. This is Mike the doesn't co- care. Yeah, this is the question, the question I want to. I want to. Watch is too small. Yeah, this um, this this documentary has spawned some controversy, and I don't truly understand why. That's my opinion, because because people want to hate. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the ba- the documentary is saying, hey, here are these people who had these health problems. Here's what these athletes are saying. This is what's working. It's better to eat less meat. That's kind of uh, undisputable. So, what is the controversy about? Well, I mean, From I their think, perspective, what are yeah, they saying? Yeah, I mean, people, people are so tied to their, mm-hmm. it's a lot of tied to identity, especially men. You know, they're like, they think, oh, I'm the hunter. I got to eat meat uh, to be big and strong. And they've really been sucked into this myth. And I think they sort of came in before the film even came out. They're like, oh, it's a vegan film. They're trying to tell us to go vegan and all that shit associated with, you know, veganism and vegetarianism. So I think people were just sort of, you know, like uh, an example I was mentioning before, you know, people are saying, oh, well, they, they're saying the, the gladiators were vegan. We never said that. The scientists said um, predominantly vegetarian. I said feel mostly by plants. Mm-hmm. So people just came with this preconception. Now we did use all the athletes were completely vegan. Uh, and we chose to do that because we didn't want people saying, well, we were trying to dispel a myth. We're not trying to tell people what to eat. We're trying to dispel some myths, show some facts. And if you put people in that were just mostly plant-based, 
they'd say, oh, it's the fish they're eating once a week. Uh, you know, that's where they're getting their protein from. Yeah, because I saw one thing, they were like, oh, you know, with the Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor fight, they're like, oh, Nate Diaz was a vegan, he beat Conor McGregor. But it's like, the, the, and that's true. And then they're like, oh, but then Conor came back and beat him the two months later. It's like, what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, yeah well, funny, we actually almost wanted to include that in the, in the film, but it wasn't enough space because Conor, after that, cut his meat consumption down. Right. Uh, and then did better. So that would actually have worked in our favor. I'd say, look, they were pretty close, although he lost. And he, he Conor yeah. himself blamed it on eating the more meat and his energy didn't feel good, battle of yes. energy. And then after that, he cut his meat down, he got better energy. Now, Conor's an amazing fighter, as is Nate. So yeah, it's not just about diet, right? right? It's about your skill and your training. But certainly, I think there's really good scientific evidence that it's better for athletic performance. Well, the, I love the, the, the Titans part. Plans. When you when you when you uh, follow around the Titans, they had their best season in, in a, fifteen years. In yeah. fifteen years, and that was that. I, cause, and that food, that plant, that food that. Um, and they like, had like fourteen players. How great did that food look vegan, too? Yeah. I mean, that food. There's this place. Called, you ever go to Champs Diner in Brooklyn? Since you've been here, it's like nah. a fully vegan diner. But it's like oh you, yeah, I've been there. Yeah. You sit down there, and it's like a diner like we would go to in Brooklyn and Bay Ridge and it's like yeah. it's fantastic food yep. yeah so it's interesting to me talk to go back to my point about marketing it's interesting that you did say that about the gladiators because I watched it and that's the point you were making and I was like oh wow that's interesting but then I was going like oh that makes sense it's like we're only eating the amount of meat we're eating now because it's marketed to us and it's just like meat upon meat but back then in Rome like the meat was the harder rarer thing to get so right. people you know, ate more plants because that's what the diet was for most well, of our there, history. There was, but also right. actually the gladiators, they compared to the, the general population and the gladiators were eating a lot more plants even. And now people say, well, it's because the gladiators were slaves and therefore they're eating slave food. Well, even if that was true, right, is that, which it wasn't because, you know, unlike uh, we're shown in films, the gladiators historically actually often weren't killed at the end of the battle. Mm -hmm. They might like survive five or six fights, even if they lost, they might live because right. they wouldn't always kill them. In the film, we always like to see this, you know, and then the, right. the thumb across the throat, you know, and then down, or the thumbs down, and then they kill them. That's not always the case. So, I mean, first of all, if you had a stable of fighters that were costing you money and you were trying to put on the best show possible, you'd probably be feeding the best fuel that you could feed them. Right. Second of all, even if that wasn't true and they were feeding them the worst, cheapest food, they didn't have amazing nutritional science back then. Right. So they'd only sort of have sort of anecdote and, you know, sort of outcomes after they fed to see how it went. So even if it was true and they thought they were feeding the cheapest food, it doesn't mean that it wasn't optimal for athletic performance. Right. You know? So right. people trying to rebut the film, trying to find whatever holes they can, they create a lot of straw man arguments and then try and tear those down because they really can't attack the, the science, which is back. Right. You know, it's uh, funny. Forward. It's like nobody ever goes to, goes to the doctor and the doctor's like, hey, man, you know, you got to cut down on the carrots. Yeah. You got to yeah. cut down on, you're having too many salads. All right. Cut down it's, on those plants. What you got to do is have a few more steaks <laughs> and we'll get this cholesterol Man, down. And it's like, listen, I just go by, because yeah, I know like, oh, the people debunk, you know, when we started the podcast, oh, it's the, who can I know how I feel. I person whether it's placebo or not, it's real. And also, but it's, it's not, not placebo. It's though. not, dude, when I take poops, the, they say when you take a poop, it needs to have shape. Yeah. S shape. The shape's coming out of my ass. I mean, I have my daughter come over and learn the alphabet in my toilet bowl. Yeah. It's fucking, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, James. Um, and, then, and then it's just, and then it's just like, so I feel, I don't know. Let me just say, you can't underestimate how confused he was. No, no, but you yeah. came right out of the cage. Well, I'm on He's an experienced fighter, and you came out with too much well, energy. Well, it's his fault. He's got oh, my brain fueled by plants. Yeah, it's I'm his feeling alive. <laughs> I'm human cocaine. <laughs> Look at how muscular Tank is. I know, but Tank he's on steroids. So. He's on steroids and plants. Yeah, he's got a different... He's, he, he incorporates steroids into yeah, his plant-based Yeah, he puts diet. Winstrel into his kale juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a little different. What yeah. can you do? I'm happy to hear Mike laughing and not coughing. Yeah. Um, it was, it somebody was, give that kid a fucking... It kiwi. really was the first kind of food industry documentary made by, like, athletes. That's the first time I've right. seen a documentary talking about... Uh, the Western diet, the American diet, the food industry, the 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 lobbies of the food industry mm -hmm. by guys who are like peak performers. Like you can't underestimate um, the strong man. Um, he's he broke the record being the strongest, lifting the, the most weight. Ever weight. Carried by a human being over the ten. Yes, meters, yeah. yeah, the heaviest weight carried by a human being over ten meters. And he he's he has on he's on a plant based diet. Right. You can't break. A stereotype more. I mean, that's right. the polar opposite of the stereotype. So that I think that is kind of like a paradigm shift in sort of your perspective. Going like, wow, that's possible. There's got to be something to this that plants can't just make you weak and skinny the way the stereotype is. 
I mean, yeah, you, look, oh, oh, you, look, oh, oh. you look in shape. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I've never been big, right? But even though I was eating tons of meat, I was never big either. Uh, I've stayed around like 190, 195, somewhere in there. I feel like if I get over 200, my speed goes down a little bit with striking or coming out of the holster with the handgun or whatever, a little bit slower. Right. right so right, right. Uh, I like to stay under, like under 200. Are you still fighting professionally? No, no, yeah. I've retired quite a few. I still train uh, military and, and law enforcement. But do you feel like physically better, like since you've been Oh, I got, I've, been, I've got stronger and right. um, my endurance has improved. How long sure. have you been plant based? How many oh, years? The whole time. It's like oh, over seven years now. Cause when the film actually started, it took that long to make the film and then for it to come out. Like really? editing and come out, it's been like seven. Seven years. Over a little, I think maybe almost eight, yeah. Seven years, 100% plant based, not a, yeah, not yeah, a, yeah. Not a well, bite I mean, of meat. So, so that's the thing. It's like when you say I'm a vegan. So if I go to a restaurant and there's some bread, I don't go, can you go and look at the ingredients and see if right, there's right. any uh, milk in this? And, right, you right. know what I mean? So, you know, I don't know. You know, there's, but there's definitely probably, no meat. No, no, no meat, no, I mean, no meat, no date, dairy, no eggs intentionally, you know, What no about su supplements? You have to take supplements, right? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, a B12 is the one thing that you've got to take have if to. you're going to be completely plant-based. Yeah, and so you, there's uh, an amount that you can take once a week or, or if you can do it once a day, depending on, you know. So, like, quickly, like, what, what, like, if somebody who's, like, because, like, I try to, t I try to talk to my, <clears throat> you know, like, mom about this, and mm -hmm. my mom's, you know, she's very... Religious, she's like, no, we have to. I, I have to drink cow's milk, and I'm like, mm, why crazy, would you yeah. have to drink cow? What? What does it have to do? Why would you have to drink a cow specific milk? That's marketing. Oh, it's brilliant. It's like yeah. one of the best marketing campaigns of all time. Got milk. You yeah. know, they like they just chose like a docile animal that they could get milk from that was really productive and large, and could. And they tricked everyone in thinking once you wean off of mother's breast milk, whereas evolutionarily there was no need to like you wouldn't have lactase, which is the. Uh, the enzyme that breaks down lactose, you right. wouldn't have even had that. You wouldn't have lactase persistence beyond weaning. And then they just trick people into thinking, oh, an amazing job of marketing. Yeah. Um, but and actually- it's the same with the meat. Yeah, yeah, totally. And so yeah. what, what people have done, what the industry has done is they framed the building blocks of diet as bones, you need calcium, and calcium, you need dairy. You know, muscle, right. for your muscles, you, you need protein, and where does protein come from? Meat. And for your brain, you need omega 3s, and where does omega 3 come from? It comes from fish. It's like a brilliant marketing job. And you do need calcium and protein and omega 3s. It's just that you can get them from the source and cut out the middlemen, go straight, cut, you know, go straight to the source, and get your, your calcium from green leafy vegetables, which is where the cows are getting it from, yeah. get your protein from, from legumes or nuts sure. and seeds, like plants. That's where cows are getting their protein from. And omega 3s, you can go right to the source. Um, you can go to um, get like um, flax seeds, which is ALA, or if you're worried about getting like exactly the same uh, EPA and DHA that come in fish oil, you would get those from algae, which is where the fish get those from. You so know? you don't even take a fish oil pill. You don't do any of that. No, no. I take a, a, a B12 and then some, depending on where you live in the world, and this is whether you eat meat or not, taking a vitamin D supplement. Depends how much sun you're getting. Right. Uh, and depends on the time of year. Uh, and then, yeah, it's sort of, you know, for a lot of people, it's probably worth as an insurance policy taking, uh, you know, an EPA DHA supplement, um, right. which is like an algae-based oil. Or you could do flaxseed. Just some people don't convert the ALA, especially as you get older, right. into the, uh, the long form omega-3s, DHA and right. EPA. The marketing yeah. component is very interesting, too, when, when um, part of the film, when they talk about the, uh, like, McDonald's commercials. Yeah. I always was fascinated by that, too. It's like, and, and the, the, the film really hammers it home. Because they show, you know, the cigarette industry and mm -hmm. what a lot their of parallels. Yeah, the par yeah, they start out with like <clears throat> cigarettes used to use doctors, and those advertisements are hilarious. Like when I go on a when I go on a night call, it's all marketing. I like to smoke a camel, Shay, because it yeah. gives me a boost of energy. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then the the um, the McDonald's commercials. It's so true. It's like you got Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Remember Michael Jordan sure. used to do them. It's like you're going like, yeah, you guys don't eat this shit. No. Yeah, you you have a nutritionist who tells you like. Don't eat that. Yeah, same, same with the cigarettes. Like, So we found the cigarette advertising, and you see the cigarette hanging out of the athlete's mouth, and then you can find the same picture without the cigarette in the mouth. Yeah. So like back in the day, whatever that version of Photoshop was, like stick cutting it out and pasting it on, they were doing that. Same today, those athletes, you know, they're typically not eating that food. The only no. one who smokes cigarettes is Vladi Divac. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Vladi Divac? Yeah, Vlad. uh -huh. Oh, he's a basketball player. Basketball yeah. player. He, fun he would actually smoke. He was European, so like he probably trained Europeans cigarettes. Europeans is just yeah. something different. What did you eat for breakfast today? Uh, I like an oatmeal with like berries and bananas. And nice. Like that. Yeah. So do you eat avocado every day? It's a good fat. Not every day. It's, it's healthy fats for sure. But yeah, not every day. But I do, you know, a couple of days a week might eat some. Yeah. Do you want to have dinner? I, I got another podcast to do after this one, unfortunately. <laughs> and now, you know, I've heard, you know, maybe you got all Well, if we weren't going to go out for dinner, wh wh where would you take me and what would we have? 
you know, I've been like in recently, and I, again, I never plug like brands, or, like, like whatever. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was like, you know what? I thought you, like, you know what? I've had enough of you. Yeah. And then it was just going to get a one two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's good this, for the vibe. I've been podcast. in this place called Carver recently, which isn't even a vegan place, but they got a bunch of vegan options. You know, it's a bit like Chipotle. Yes. Where you can always eat plant based. They got the sofritas and the beans, but I've been looking at this place called Carver, um, yeah, which is in, I know it. It's I know like, it. It's like a chain, mm. and you just pick your lentils and your greens and your veg and you know whatever. So. It's not, and again, you can eat there with your meat and your friends too. So, so what's like the main source of pro? Like, what's got the highest protein and vegetables that that's I can not eat? A so meat. per, per calorie, not... it's going to be um, well. Per calorie, you're going to be really high in like broccoli and greens, but that's kind of ridiculous. And that's sort of a stupid thing that vegans will say. Oh, well, broccoli's got more protein than meat. Well, that might be true per calorie, but you're going to eat need like like two foot square or, bushels know, of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of, of, so that's kind of ridiculous. So the best sources really are. Uh, legumes so like beans, peas, lentils, and then nuts and seeds or nut butters, you know, peanut butter. And I've been doing um, a lot of almond butter. That's better than peanut butter, right? Yeah, uh, in many ways, yeah, it's got better. And f- some people are gonna make fun of me now for the peanut butter because we use the peanut butter sandwich in the film, and there's a lot of people talking shit on peanut butter sandwiches because uh, the amount of calories or whatever. Uh, we just use that as an example of like an everyday food. We weren't saying like this is the best food for building muscle. We're just yeah. saying, <clears throat> hey, here's an example of f- food that you might already be familiar with. Like right. here's some lentils and here's a peanut butter sandwich. And then people try to hone in on the peanut butter sandwich and like try and tear it apart. But um, yeah, I mean, just those, those types of foods. And then of course, like for some reason, like, oh, well, some of these vegan bodybuilders take protein powder. You know, what do you, what do you think that the meat eating bodybuilders do? They yeah. take protein powder as of course. well. Right. And why, isn't there vegan whey protein powder? What? It wouldn't be whey protein because that's, that's like a, from the cow. Oh, uh, whey actually, you can't have. Yeah, so whey and casein are the Sorry. two like uh, yeah. proteins in, in cow's milk. So they separate, it used to be the waste product. Yeah. And then they figured out it was pretty anabolic. And so um, they started selling it, you know, into a powder. I, but, think, um, I think milk is way down. Like I think, I think almond milk and like cashew milk, I think that's been successful. Oh, I the think plant-based milk yeah. has been the most successful sector right. in the plant-based so far. You know, some of the largest dairies are shutting down. Some of the places, there's some farms that had cows that are shutting down and producing right. almonds for mama milk. Yeah. So farmers are even benefiting in many cases, right. switching over. But soy is the best one in your opinion. <clears throat> no, I'm not saying best. I'm just saying if you want a decent protein. Now you can make almond milk or hemp milk yourself and make it high protein. It's just that when they sell it in the store, it's pretty watered down. You know, it does like, yeah. sometimes it's like one gram of I'll protein. That was my question. But I... soy milk is one of the easiest to buy with the protein and some good fats and like less sugar than cow's jackfruit, milk. Jackfruit, do you eat a lot of jackfruit? Uh, some, I mean, it's, it's got a good texture, you know, but it's, uh, again, not that high in protein. I so I eat, I eat it occasionally. I, yeah. Uh, you know, I like, to, I'm not. What about bread? Cook. Do you eat bread? No, he just yeah, said, yeah, if he sure. goes to a restaurant, he'll, he'll no, eat bread. No, but I'm bread. saying at home, not at, at the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like whole grain, you know. Like not, a whole wheat bread. White bread. Yeah, yeah. Dude, once you yeah. start eating whole grain, whole grain, <clears throat> whole grain tastes better anyway. Once you start eating it, so. it's got more flavor anyway than the bleached bread. Yeah. Like my, cause my wife's a huge health nut and like. So I'm she always, weighs her food. She weighs her food. She eats the whole grain. Oh, wow. So my point was this, like, uh, back before I got, when he made fun of me for saying Impossible Burger. But, um, yeah, sorry. Impossible Burger and, um, and the uh, Beyond, Beyond Burger mm-hmm. are marketed really well. Yeah, yeah. And they're doing really well. Much like um, almond milk, cashew milk, those are crushing. Um, are they good for you? And do you think that that's like, uh, do you think that's a good example of what, um, the kind of vegan cause can do, kind of yeah, create I mean, exciting get, foods that mar- are marketed well? Well, I think that's one of the reasons why people haven't switched in the past is they think that the foods aren't tasty, right? But you can actually just, just as, in fact, I eat a much wider variety of tasty foods than I used to. I used to do like extra lean chicken and bro- uh, broccoli and brown rice or extra lean turkey. So going back to whether it's healthy or not, is it good for you? When you ask that question, it's always, or compared to what, right? So if you're gonna go to Carl's Jr. and you're gonna have a burger, then I would uh, I would get the the plant based burger versus the the animal based burger right for sure mm-hmm. um, I think there's a lot of reasons why it's better it's not just even if you match the macronutrient ratio and you had just as much saturated fat that they put in from like coconut oil or palm oil or whatever it is even if you matched all of those there's still a lot of things in the animal foods you know the bacterial endotoxins you can kill the bacteria but the endotoxins cause inflammation there's uh, these things called AGEs and heterocyclic amines which are shown to be carcinogenic you know cancer causing and inflammatory also in your arteries which is not good for performance or sex or health uh, and so I'd stick with the plant based burger right if I was gonna if that was my only choice or all my buddies were going there I felt like a, a fast food burger right not that I, I don't eat that stuff that often but then you're much going it's not going to be good compared to uh you know a three bean chili or a bowl of lentils or you know what i mean so yes i know so it's relative is what you're saying the split the first initial split is plant versus animal and then within a plant it's like getting more whole foods 
and less processed. So food. you're saying if you have the option to get an Impossible <coughs> Burger or a, a Whopper, get the Impossible Burger. But if you have the option between an Impossible Burger and some something that, that's better, yeah, Whole Foods, yeah, Whole Food, yeah, they yeah, go yeah. with the Whole Food. Yeah, but I mean, like again, it's it's all or something, not all or nothing. That's right. both right. with plants versus animals and like Whole Foods versus processed foods. Yeah. And you got to meet people where they're at. You know, like, oh, if I, you say over here, oh, this this uh, plant-based diet over here is not that healthy because they're eating uh, a Beyond Burger once a month and this Impossible Burger once a month and this, you know, plant-based chicken once a month or whatever. Well, what were they eating before? Right. So you got to compare individuals to what they were eating before, not this person over here that was eating, like, um, you know, wild-caught salmon once a month and all vegetables and whole grains. Like, that might be a step down for them uh, if they went to start eating loads of processed junk, right? right. But... This person, we're saying, like, instead of that wild salmon, switch over to, like, a lentil soup. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Then they're making improvements. So it's always going to be, it's unfair to compare. Like, people say, well, the paleo diet, that's better than, you know, this vegan diet where most people vegans are eating junk. Well, you've got to compare apples for apples, right? You've got to go healthiest plant-based diet versus healthiest paleo diet. Then compare those two. You can't, it, you, you got, you yeah. can't compare apples with oranges. Yeah. Right? I, I feel like, for me... It's just about how I feel. Like I've tried other diets and I've just felt the best. I'm telling you, like in the morning when I make an oatmeal and it's got the you still, you still got a boner. I've still got a boner. <laughs> I've still got a boner. Well, now I'm I'm going I'm gonna and and it and and now those days are coming in too because I'm gonna I'm going to get a sex change. So it's gonna be good to be post up. Now, now and, I know he's kidding. And do the Whereas well. Before, that, I was like, before, I know I know you're confused. That's yeah. what you think. Yeah. Um, so you never really know. Okay. Um, yeah. I, so I like to do like when I'm having like an oatmeal in the morning, cold soaked oatmeal with the almond butter, with the berries. Um, when I, when I like, you know, I'm eating like avocado and all those vegetables, even no. in my, not only is my physical performance better, but even in here, like moving quick, yeah, jumps, everything is better. Driving better. Well, I pay know, attention to <clears throat> more. You know, what's funny before we, when we were, before we edited the film, obviously we did lots of shooting. We shot like 50 people that didn't even make it into the film. And we didn't know if it would go outside of athletics and firefighters and soldiers. And so we interviewed a bunch of like Brian Green, one of the world's leading theoretical physicists oh, wow, and yeah. Daniel Negrano, one of the world's top poker players. And, and Daniel was saying like, you know, his energy at the table, because those poker games will sometimes go through the night. He just felt like much clearer uh, and he felt he was doing better, and he, his energy was much more on. So it, it doesn't—you don't have to be an athlete to be performing better, right? You could be just in the office performing better at work. You could be a parent yeah. who's got more energy for the kids. You know, everyone wants to, to you know, perform better. Yeah, and people way. are always like, "Oh, I, somebody," because I, I said that once. Somebody's like, "Well, what, it's probably just placebo." It's like. It's not, but even if it is, isn't that reality? That's your not, reality. But it's not placebo. No, I know. Like it's I said, right. nobody's ever gone to the doctor and they were like, you know, you're eating too much fruits and vegetables. Right. That that'll never happen. No. They'll it's always, always say you're, fine. You cut down on your meat. Cut down on your on your animal products. Usually. Right. Um. You know, it kind of almost seems like when I was hearing you talk about like all the macronutrients and all the other stuff that is just gibberish to me because <laughs> I don't know it. It almost feels like um a religion in a little bit. Right, like yeah, in well, the I sense think, that no, not not your not you being a religion. It's like yeah. you're enlightened because you know everything. Mm -hmm. You know the science of the food. Like scientists kind of know the science, the reasons why things happen in the natural world. Right. So they believe less and less in God because they know more and more about why the world works, why, the how it, it works, yeah. the way that it works. You kind of seem to know more about how everything works. Whereas someone like me is just going like, you know, yeah, meat. I heard meat. I was told meat comes yeah, from protein, yeah. you know? Yeah. I was like, that's yeah. what they told me. And unfortunately, we're sort of influenced a lot by social media. And so it depends on which sort of groups you follow as right. what information you start believing. Uh, I mean, I think the good thing is that all of the, like, the recommendations from all of the World Health Organization and the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics and Canada's food, like Canada's food Guide just cut out dairy for the first time ever. So really? Dairy, dairy's not even a category anymore in Canada. Wow. Um, but all of these groups, they're, they're all shifting towards recommending more and more plants. Like every five years, you know, the Academy of Nutrition, Nutrition and Dietetics used to be right. the food pyramid. Now it's the food plate. But they're always shifting, you know, right. despite industry influence and a lot of money coming in to the people on the like the dietary guideline advisory committee uh they're still shifting like shifting over to plant-based despite all the industry pushback was there like a moment in your life where you were like i'm changing uh no when i when i tried it i was just giving it a go see how i felt because i saw a lot of the evidence you know i got injured started researching it right thought, let me give this a try see how right. i feel you know i just seen some of the athletic performances which i thought was crazy at the time because i literally thought you had to eat animal products every meal 
to be an right. athlete. I like. I remember walking to a restaurant once and the chicken was spelled funny. I'm like, why? Why is the chicken spelled like that? Like, well, it's not a real chicken. Like, well, where's the real chicken? No, there's no chicken. What meat do you have? No meat. Okay, what do you, what eggs? No, nothing. So I was a plant-based, you know, vegan restaurant, basically. I looked at my buddy who was like 6'5", 275. This uh, Tom, uh, bodybuilding buddy of mine from England. And we looked at each other and just walked out. I wouldn't have had a single really? meal in a vegan restaurant, no. Right. So I just tried it. And then, you know, that's when my endurance and uh, strength improved. So how did the how did the movie come about? So you had this experience, you got injured, you started doing this like. So how did this start documenting happen? that a little bit? Yeah, like, right. uh, I bought a used camera for Craigslist and started going on YouTube, learning how to do the three point lighting and what. You just taught yourself. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, see, it's, so people just like that. Oh wait a second, They're like innovative guys. But isn't why you learn everything these days on YouTube? Like if you yeah. know the dishwasher breaks, you go on YouTube. You know, like you need to install a floor, you go on YouTube. You want to make. Uh, the, the the most viewed documentary of all time. You go on on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you shot that yourself and then no, shot. No, so I it. shot bits and then I thought, well, I'll either put this some something small up on 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 YouTube. Um, you know that full circle, learn it, and you put it back on YouTube. Right, right. But um, yeah, or or like I'll use the, some of this footage to get other people interested. And then I met Joseph Pace very early on, who's the he actually was a, um, a comedy writer in Hollywood uh, years ago, but he'd been working in the plant-based space, been like plant-based for like 25 years or at the time. And so we joined up and then decided really to make it like a big uh, documentary. But so you yeah. had no, and you had no experience. You had two years before you did this, you would have never thought you would. Well, make that's why it, it took a long time, right? People are like, well, why did it take so long to come out? It was like if you start, you know, first of all, I woke up at two in the morning, thinking I've got to tell everybody about this because I hate being lied to, and I thought. I've really been lied to by the industry and like right. that's like trickled down even to what my parents told me when I was a kid. They sure. weren't lying on purpose, but you've seen in the film, like the footage with me and my dad, I was, I was a Superman as a, like, a, yeah, yeah, Superman, I I was a five-year-old. Yeah. He's like, what did you eat today? I'm like, yeah, lamb and eggs and same as lunch. And uh, yeah. he's like, yeah, that's what Superman needs to be big and strong. You know, so I have lots of misinformation. I hate being lied to, felt like I had to tell everybody and the best way to do that was a documentary. And I worked on with Joseph and, um, it took a long time because when you don't know anyone in the plant-based space or in the medical community or health community, you don't know anyone in film, you don't have any money. Right. You know, to, to you don't, that, that takes a while to start putting the money together, convince sure. people to like, hey, do you want to help support this? You know, it's not easy to like, get Arnold Schwarzenegger, get James Cameron, you know, <laughs> like those aren't no, easy things. We know. That shit takes a while to <laughs> yeah. like get those meetings and build yeah. and, and grow. And, but if you've got a good idea and you're passionate and you put the effort in, you know, um, and, and fortunate to have like had a good education and be able to articulate and uh, yeah. not take too many blows to the head, you know, in right. all the MMA yeah, you, training. My, you I, was a, out. I was curious, you, everyone <clears throat> spoke in it, everyone spoke in it that was featured in it. Did you, did you ask Nate to, to speak or is there a reason he didn't like uh, get interviewed for that? Uh, we did interview him. Oh, you did? We just didn't put it in. Cause he said motherfucker too much? Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> He's like, yo, man, I'll eat motherfucking plants or whatever. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, they were, yeah, they were stoned and showed up like eight hours. Actually, showed up six hours late the first day. And then, uh, so we had to roll it into a second day. And uh, yeah, I know. It just like, we ended up only, all of the athletes, like Arnold's not fully vegan, right? He's mostly plant-based. He's cut down on meat by 85%. He never really drank dairy anyway. Um, so there's people like him and, um, and then Nate is not a hundred percent vegan either. He sometimes eats a little bit of fish or eggs. He's like plant-based, but for the athletes, athletes that we interviewed, that we put up, we decided to make them all plant-based. Right. Um, so we thought that there was enough of a story in Nate's uh, pre-existing footage. Right. You know, that, and, uh, it was, it was tough, like deciding which athletes that we'd filmed to not put in or the experts. Cause it was crazy. And some of the interviews were like four hours long with yeah. one expert and it was like, we got 600 hours of footage. We made it into an 86-minute film. Uh, has anybody went back, do you think? Like any athletes who were plant-based are now they're not? There's only one, yeah, yeah. Uh, that I know of. Uh, and that was Tim Sheaf. Okay. And he's saying that he uh, and has been on, because like, he's gone like full-on carnivore now. Right. And, oh, um, Jesus, he went the way other way. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's crazy because he, he won like the American, uh, the British Ninja Warrior show being plant-based and did really well plant-based then he basically went on he used to drink his own piss and uh interesting is yeah. he single yeah uh, i think i'm not sure <laughs> he's, a, he's a, actually a really nice guy and uh but he, yeah, he, seems like he, he went he, he used to, he, they used to go to parties where they drink other people's piss and then interesting and then like he, 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 uh, wow. why are yeah, they doing yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> so he, and he fasted for 35 days and then afterwards <laughs> what yeah, yeah 35 days afterwards he um it, 
he ate plant-based for a few days. He's like, yeah, I'm not feeling great. And we try to explain to him, like, there's a sort of rule with fasting. If you do an extended fast, you should probably take twice as long as the fast. If you take 35 days, it's probably going to take 70 days after you start eating again to feel completely normal. Really? But yeah, yeah, twice as long. And you've got to be careful. There's something called refeeding syndrome where you eat too much too quickly. You can actually die from it. Right. So really I tr they, we we try get... to consult for him. And I just didn't really listen. He didn't feel great. And then he ate some salmon, said he had a wet dream. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And, uh, and so he's yeah. like, like, okay, now I got to switch and eat completely meat. But uh, I don't quite get the logic. He also thinks the earth is flat and a few other things. That, as uh, historians, you probably think, you know, wouldn't agree with him on. But so he's the only one that I know, I know. of. And he actually wasn't in the film, the final cut of the film. Uh, he was before he told piss. me, uh, but he did have the courtesy of calling me early on before he released it to the public, um, and just in case we want to pull him out. But he actually wasn't in the film. So the whole carnivore community says, oh, you know, Tim let them know they were in the film. They had to pull him out. That's actually not true. He wasn't in the film. Um, right. uh, you know, there was a little scene that we tried to put on months and months and months before, but he was never in the cut when uh, he asked us to pull him out. All right. Yeah. I think that's a very effective way to put it. Like you meet people where they're at. And I felt like the documentary did a great job of sort of emphasizing that. Like, hey, this isn't like we're not coming at you in a militant way. Because I think that's the I think that's most of the problem. Right. Is the totally. way it's portrayed. Yeah. Because yeah. when you come at it the right way, you know, it's like. It just kind of, you can't deny when something makes sense, when someone kind of lifts you, you know, like Plato's allegory of the cave, you get unchained and you turn around and you're like, mm -hmm. you, you, you can't unsee what you've seen. You can't unlearn what you've learned. If it's presented to you in the right way, you don't put that block up. You don't right, go, right, fuck right, right. you, you know? Yeah, I, well, I think that's the whole vegan vegetarian approach they've done in the past. It just hasn't worked very well. No. You know, like judgmental, pointing, got to be all or nothing. You know, if you do, oh, you're fucking wearing leather shoes, or even though you've given up me and dairy. And, you know, there's, I don't think that's a great approach. It doesn't work very well. Right. Um, and then going back to that carnivore thing, you know, people don't realize, that, like, let's say you have a nut allergy, Right. And you just never quite figured it out. You just don't feel good after eating nuts, but you never could have associated right. to the nuts. Right. And then you go, I'm going to go carnivore for a month. Well, fuck, you've got, you, what you're doing is an elimination diet. So you're eliminating all plants. So by definition, you've eliminated nuts and you feel better. Well, it doesn't right. mean like, and it's usually temporary, but you feel better temporarily. Right. And also like anytime people lose a lot of weight rapidly, their blood pressure tends to come down and their cholesterol tends to come down. And of course, you, there's, there's many ways to sort of um, not overeat. And one of them is called um, sensory specific satiety or state specific satiety. So if you only can eat red meat, you're probably not going to overeat calories, right? Because right. you're fed up of eating red meat. Right. And so, yeah, people lose weight. You can also have a cocaine habit and lose weight. You know, there's lots right. of, you can right. get parasites and lose weight and your cholesterol comes down. Or That doesn't mean that it's healthy long-term or optimal for- Or healthy for or everybody, uh, yeah, right, 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 categorically. Right. What do I, you mean, think like, I don't think any, like, there's no, like, serious scientific experts that think that a carnivore diet is the way to go. Right. You know, no plants at all. Like, seriously, just- Not even in those right. instances, like, where there's some sort of autoimmune deficiency, like- uh, Yeah, I mean, like, but again, you can get that. There might be a number of foods that, you're, that you don't do well, but it doesn't mean it has to be all meat. You're like, right. you know, like, Joe, Joe Rogan just went um, carnivore for a month and he lost weight. You know, he said he got a lot of diarrhea to start with, but again, that could have been microbiome change. But- um, you know, he could do the same thing, just eating all lentils, right. for example. Like it doesn't. Is he, like, he going to do that next? You think to sort of? I don't. I don't think all lentils is a great idea either. But, <laughs> you know. Well, old people do that. I think old no, people yeah. go all lentils because all, all they lentils. haven't got their teeth, so they got, Yeah, they nice go. They sit in diners and they just eat lentil soup. Yeah. yeah. Um, we got. We got to go. We got to. We got to yeah. wrap it up. Well, thank nice. you very much, so much, James. Uh, the the documentary is obviously, right. Uh, it's game still, changers. It's the game changers. It's still, it's still on Netflix right now. It's on now. Netflix, iTunes, Google Play, DVD, Blu-ray, pretty much everywhere. You can even get it online. You, uh, I saw it on YouTube. You can get it for like three bucks or four bucks. Oh yeah, the YouTube has yeah. like a paid channel. You can yeah. probably find it. You know. Uh, rip for free somewhere if you yeah, don't Just rip it for free. Yeah, yeah, just rip it for free. Use your girlfriend's password. Watch it on Netflix. The game changers. Right. Thank you very much, man. Thank awesome. you, Jay Thanks Dutch. for having me. No, of course. It. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As always, we're brought to you by Theo's Feta Cheese, Theo's all-natural, non-GMO, gluten-free, and RBST-free, no hormones ejected into the cow. Uh, this feta cheese is dope. It really, truly is dope. It's, it's, first, it's milk. It's made from cow's milk, not sheep or goats. You're not going to have any of those weird Greek animals. It's just an American cow. 
<laughs> Theo uses probiotics, which is also healthy for your stomach, for your gut lining. Yanni's got to get a colonoscopy, so he needs to start eating the Theo's feta cheese. It's high in B vitamins. I'm high in D vitamins and calcium. And it's great for muscle and, and the best bone part out. about it is he finally sent us his check. He sent us the money, which is thank you, Theo, because <laughs> we thought you were a slippery Greek, but you're not. And he's uh, not Greek. He's Italian. Oh, he's Italian? Well, you, then you're definitely slippery. <laughs> um, but Theo, but I've actually tasted the cheese. It's, it's, it's actually fantastic. It's actually fantastic. And it helps you get jacked. It is really good. It yeah. is really good. Really good. Just, Mike almost went into a, a seizure before, and he just took a bite of Theo's feta cheese, and now he's fucking ripped. <laughs> Theo's, uh, it's cow milk feta, and it's pasteurized. It's naturally low in fat. Uh, Theo himself was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, but the cheese is manufactured in Wisconsin. They got uh, the best cheese. They do have the best cheese. It's only available to the public for two years. That's all it's been out. It's only for two years, and it's already kicking the national brand's ass. Yeah, and I, you know that's a Brooklyn kid that wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> Sell, we already kick it everybody's ass. And it's 2,000 supermarkets in New York City and throughout the Northeast. You can buy uh, Theo's at Theo's uh, feta cheese at your local key food. Shout out. Um, <laughs> Gristidi's, Big Y, King Collin, Food Town, Met Foods, Diagostino's. Associated. It's Dagostino's. Dagostino's, Sea Town, my personal favorite, Super Fresh Food <laughs> Emporium, Food Universe, Ginta Meat Farm, Food Dynasty, Compare Foods, Pioneer, Crasdale, Bozudos, CNS, and Porky's. But most important, you can get it at Amazon.com. And even more important, go to Theosfeta.com. T-H-E-O-S-F-E-T-A.com. Get your cheese. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,